Hi, uh, I'm going to talk about that how we can use Microsoft Flow for applying some analytics on Twitter. So in a short video, I'm going to show you how you can kind of set up your Microsoft Flow, use the template, uh, apply um, cognitive services, text analysis on the tutor that you get. So tutor is kind of a trigger for that and you apply uh, text analytics and then you're able to see the result in Power BI. Thank you. Uh, so in this session, I'm going, as I explained, um, I'm going to show you how we can, uh, uh, how we can automatically uh, get the Twitter, uh, get the new tweet and Twitters uh, or any retweet or any favorite or anything happening in Twitter, get it and apply sentiment analysis and uh, in, show it in Power BI. So it's actually the application process. So I'm going to use Microsoft Flow for doing that uh, let's see that was a process so the first step is actually is that you go to your uh, power bi dot microsoft dot com and uh, to your account so you need to log in there and uh, after you log in uh, so oops not this one i'm going to connect with my account uh, this is my company account i'm going to create a actually a data set for uh streaming a data so i'm going to click on my data my workspace click on data set and here you have an option uh to create a data set a streaming data set so you see here we have different options of creating the uh, uh a streaming data set one is from api another one from azure stream analytics i will talk about it later uh, but for this purpose i'm going to use the new streaming data set using api so click on that here uh, if you want to create the reports later it's good idea to make it historic data analytics on so put a name for that so i put a name like uh uh, data set name Twitter video so that's because I'm creating video and here I provide the names that I want so I want the username of people as you see is created JSON uh, attribute for me at the bottom so it's text file I need tweet so again it's text file and I need uh, uh, tweet by so another parameter is tweet by tweet by is text favorited uh, and also retweet count that is number and also the score. I think I mean I need another one, but uh, that was a play. Uh, play uh, uh, score that I will show you that how we can create later. So here is actually the parameter that I'm going from my uh, Twitter. So I'm create this data set. It's going to create my data set and you will see that is already created there. So if I'm looking for that, you see that my Twitter video data set is already here. So this is the first step. Then second step is that you need to, in your uh, portal.azure, you need to create a, uh, um, a text analysis uh, for cognitive services there. I already have one, but I will show you that how to actually create a new one in uh, portal.azure.com. So when you came here, just search for text analytics on the new resources and you will see that is actually is one of the uh, cognitive services I think so text analytics and if you you see that is used for semantic analysis and the other and you're able to actually create one when you create a new one you need to provide some information what's the other and the information so already i have one so i'm not going to create a new one and so now so we create if i'm back to the slides so here i'm already created 
Power BI new streaming data set and created a text analytics there. Now I'm able to go to Microsoft Flow for this video. Uh, I'm going just to show you a Microsoft Flow that I'm not going to write any code for that. So Microsoft Flow. Okay. Flow does Microsoft and you need to sign in. Okay, so I think I need to sign in with my Power BI account. So I'm logging with my um, Azure account. Uh, this is Microsoft Flow environment. So you see that we, you have uh, your flow. If you create one, you have the uh, kind of, if you need to get approval, the template, the connectors and the other. So to start, I'm not going to create my own. I'm going to use some template doing that so as you see here we have lots of template doing that so it's actually is cover many of them for example uh if i want to see the text analytics we have we just need to set text analytics and you see that we have different ones so uh the first template that i'm going to show you is actually uh it's by microsoft it's get data live from twitter apply text analytics on them and then show the live result in power bi so that's a live so if your flow is on you actually uh, able to kind of uh, doing it and uh, run it for a while and it's automatically refresh your power bi or for example uh, we have different others so you can send to the email or for example uh, you can process sentiment analysis uh, pass it to the sql and then apply the uh, kind of cognitive services on that so there are different platform or, or for example for outlook so for example i want to see that what option i have for outlook so i can save my email to my drop uh, to my onedrive automatically so it's, it's a flow is a that actually happened when a uh, Email comes as a trigger is an email, so it's going to be stored in OneDrive. So follow is actually has been triggered by one action. So if I'm back to the text analytics and analytics, and I choose the first one, that means that when a Twitter come or when a retweet happen, is going to pass it to the cognitive services, apply sentiment analysis on that, and then show the live result in my Power BI website. So the trigger for this flow is Twitter. So I'm going to create one. So because I'm already create that, you need to kind of, uh, uh, verify your email so here is actually you need to verify that i have my power bi here so you see that you're different so my power bi is a different one my twitter account i'm already kind of at the account if you need to change it you can add new account to that so just click on continue and once you set it's going to actually do that when a tweet so let's say when a tweet is posted so you can set that as a kind of the uh, specific thing. So for example, search for Power BI or for example, other things. So you can provide the different information there and detect the sentiment. So you can specify, I want to kind of uh, check the tweet. Uh, I can check the description or add the other information through that. Or for example, you can search for the retweet if it's there. Sometimes it's actually you couldn't see there, so you just need to kind of put the there. But for this example, just a tweet text. And in the output, I want to actually specify that shows the uh, result of the advanced analytics, the text analytics on tweet on my power. BI. So here I'm, I specified that yes, this is my workspace. Uh, here I should mention the uh, Twitter that I use. So this is my Twitter account. So you remember in Twitter account I specify username to it. So I need to find them here. So username, you put it here. I need tweet. So here I'm search for tweet it's 
So two texts, for example, just remove that one. Tweet by, I need this information. Maybe I need a space here. Or you can put the expression or so let's see that what we have here so tweet by which person that actually happened so you can actually tweet it by and so there, there may be some difference so favorite it so sometimes you couldn't see here just you need to click on see more uh, retweet can't so I'm just search for can't so retweet can't and the score so the score should comes from the uh the sentiment analysis as you see the icon also is a bit different so it seems that is actually okay so i'm going to save my flow and i'm going to actually test it first so first of all is act actually says that it's going to perform the trigger action so that save and test so it's actually going to put a tweet. So I need to go to my uh, Twitter account and I need to retweet something. So it's actually is going to do it. So yeah, there's a possibility that actually you get the run flow. So this is the error that you get. So you're able to see here, uh, this is a problem that it has. So there is another parameter name play load that I need to add to my power bi so i need to back to my power bi account here and going to edit that one and add another one that is play load i believe it should be a number if i'm not wrong so play uh, play load no it's actually is a bit date time or you can put it as a text if you wish so just done and now if you just run it again is actually should be fixed so just back to the runtime okay and just try it again so I did flow I'm going to test it yes or using the previous one previous test or just to perform a new one and we should wait till the result come um so i'm going to kind of do the retweet there so let's see that what should i do i'm going to my home to the tweet one and um, i'm going to retweet something so for example i'm undo this one and retweet again so it's actually when you run it it should be run again so it's actually it shows that it's correct just i need to uh test it again trigger action or the previous one test it see that how it actually work so this time is actually is getting correct so i need to add that one so as you see that i remain the other one so this is a tweet that i'm actually retweeted again so if i go to my power bi desktop so i'm click here and create a report on that i need i should have some data there so yeah you see that these are the tweet that has happened i can put a card for that uh, to see number of the tweets so every time that actually you're able to see the tweets that happen during this time and also <clears throat> you're able to see the score of them for the sentiment analysis so this most of them is kind of neutral because you are kind of the uh, representing and i can go and retweet another one so uh, the the flow is on so if you go just here you see that this flow is on so if i every time that it re uh, retweet happen is actually is going to post something in power yeah so uh, let's see that how it actually work i'm going to post another one for example this is a post by uh kegel website so i'm going to retweet that one also and let's see that how it actually works so it's still run 
and uh, we are going to the so save it so put a name to it and let's see that i actually should work so it's actually refresh it it's take a about a minute or more to refresh it but it's actually live so every uh, a minute or two minutes later you come you will see that how is actually happen there so this is the kind of the live connection so uh, you can you, you see that I didn't write that much code just I use the template there is a possibility that you create your own flow so you can do the same go to the my flow and create a new one so uh you can actually create it from blank and says that what's happened actually uh, for example if a tweet comes or when the something happened you can actually specify so for example when the new email arrive you want to analyze the email so you need to sign in to your outlook is asking about that and click in here to sign in here and for example, I have a, oh, not this one, sorry, my account. So I'm going to connect to my account and is a kind of connection there. So you need to provide the proper connection with your account and then do create all of the process yourself. So let's see that. How could I kind of do that? I'm going to connect with my work account see that is actually work so yep this is the my work and you specify the folder that you want so I have different folders there so I just inbox and I want to kind of do a text analytics so the next step is actually you can provide the action so add an action that means that is it here or you can, for example, you want to set, I want to do the text analytics. I want to store it in there, uh, there or I want to any anything, store it in the SQL database or anything. Or for example, text analytics. So you can choose it as a text analytics and specify which one you want. So for example, key phrase. You want to do the key phrase text analytics and it says that for example i want to just the attachment or the subject or the content or anything you can do the text analytics on that so uh, here you're also able to add different action here so add an action add a parallel action switch case if this happened then do that so you see that it's totally a flow that you have lots of possibility and it help you to automatic everything there is really cool applications and uh, in the next video i will show you how we can use power app so we use power app to get information do some sentiment analysis on that and show the in power bi so i will show then another demo on that but it's really cool it's without any writing any code you can have an automatic process here Okay, so as you see that how uh, we kind of created a text analytics module in Azure and also we set up a template in, Power, in Microsoft Flow and then we show the result in Power BI. So you can create your own flow there so you can get data from for example Power App and also apply some text analytics or the other and store it in database or show it in Power BI or send it as an email to one of your friends. There are lots of options. Hope in next videos I'm able to show you some more options and how you see that combination of the power tools like power app power bi and microsoft flow actually help you to have more possibility for data analytics and machine learning thank you i hope that you enjoy uh, wait for the next videos about microsoft flow and power apps